and an airplane. Hi everybody, Robert Jones back and we're back in the kitchen doing some cooking today. I'm so excited for you guys. A uh, friend Clay has suggested for about a year that I do a duck recipe. He loves to go duck hunting and I have had a hard time finding duck out here but they just opened a new grocery store so I'm excited to do a duck recipe for you and I am going all out today. I am going to attempt to do Peking duck. The classic with the lacquered skin. It's a multi-step process but if I can do it you can do it. Obviously this is not an everyday type of meal but something special for an occasion. Um, so hang with me. This is going to be a process for me learning just as well as you. Did a bunch of research and we'll see how it goes. I hope you guys enjoy this video and it's great to be back in the kitchen. All right, you guys, what you see here is an orange peel. You've got some star anise, that's this stuff here. I've got some ginger and I've got some licorice root. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a boiling pot of water, also known as a tea. So we're gonna put in our orange peel, boop. We're gonna put in a couple pieces of this. I'll put all the ingredients in the bottom, you know that. Um, some ginger, I don't have any fresh, so I'm using the candied. And then um, maybe not all this anise. Well, no, I'll put it all, it's about that much. So that's gonna cook for about 20 minutes because what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the duck in there and it's gonna tighten the skin up by boiling it. But we're just gonna give it some flavor. So that's gonna go and we'll let that go for about 20 minutes. Okay, we're over here at the sink and I wanna show you what I got here. I got uh, a duck, it came frozen. That's how I'm able to get them here. Um, it just says Gen Frozen Duck. Um, price was $3.99 a pound if you can see here. Total of $20.11, it's a five pound duck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up. I've uh, defrosted it, it's almost come to room temperature. Make sure that we get all the giblets out. I'm gonna cut the wings off with this, the traditional Chinese style, and then um, we'll go from there. All right, you guys. I love to say that. All right, you guys. So here we have our duck. Um, here's what I've done. I took it out of the package. We have stuff that came off of it. We have the wings, we have the neck, the heart, we have a liver, we have a piece of fat, and a gizzard. Maybe I'll use this for a soup. Okay, so um, traditionally in Chinese cooking, they take off the wing all the way down to the last, the last uh, upper arm here. And so let me show you what we got. The neck was already taken off. When you go to a Chinese restaurant, oftentimes the neck is still on there. And then what they do is they put a, a pipe in here and they blow it up with air and it separates the skin from the body, but I don't have any way to do that, so I'm gonna skip that step. And besides that, it doesn't have the neck, so it's not gonna be airtight anyway. Let me just show you what it looks like. Um, duck just looks a lot like chicken, except the back end seems to be a bit longer. It's got more meaty here. Um, this is the tail. Turn it over. It seems to have shorter legs, which is interesting to me. And then we got the big, giant breast here. And the skin has an interesting pattern to it. And then it's got the cavity. So we're going to do a couple things here. The first thing we're going to do is I have some spices here. So um, we have cinnamon, we have orange, we have allspice, which I'm kind of taking out. It's a mulling spice that I'm using, but um, if I had the other stuff, I just don't. Uh, I got some anise here and I got some peppers, some Szechuan peppers and some salt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix all this together and I'm going to throw it in the cavity. Just toss it all in here because it's going to be aromatic. I've seen different recipes. You can do hoisin sauce and all kinds of other stuff, but this is what I'm doing. Read a diff couple different things. Push it all in there. Mush the salt around. Okay, good. And then I've got a couple skewers. And the way they say to do this is you put it together. And you start at one end. I guess this is the, the tail end. You put the skewer through. You guys see that? Yeah. Skewer through. Like that. Let's let's wet the skewer. They tend to go better if they're wet. Okay, skewer through, and then they do a twist like this, and then they do it again, and again. And I can see that this actually makes a pretty nice, pretty nice little thing here. And again, and maybe one more time. There we go. So, our duck is all sewn up. You can see that's nice. All our goodies are inside. Then the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take a piece of string here. 
Normally they use a metal hook. I don't have a metal hook. Go around the front. Put it in the middle. Then go around the back. And let's see if that'll hang. There we go. Hanging duck. Now the reason it needs to hang is it's going to be dipped in a bunch of different pots of stuff. So let's do that. Let's even the string out a little bit. Tie a knot. Just a simple overhand knot. With a little bit of a loop. Alright, and then what I'm noticing here is since they normally have the neck on, this is not open. So I'm going to sear up the top here. Because it seems kind of saggy to me. So let's try using the same technique. We'll go in, around, in, around. Let's see if that can be enough. That should probably be enough. Okay, I just want to hold it shut. Um, there's going to be a lot of fat and stuff dripping out of this. So let's check it out. Yay! The camera. Hanging duck, both sides. Let's go to the next step. Okay, we got our boiling water over here. We've got our orange spice. We've got our anise. We've got all this kind of stuff in here. And now we're going to plunge our little duck friend in here for about 30 seconds just to tighten up his skin. And while, uh, while we were off camera, I forgot to put the orange peel, so I opened it back up and I put the orange peel inside. So, And if you can see already, wow, look at that. The skin... You see that? There you go. The skin is gotten really tight. You can see the fold here is tight. The fold back here is tight. Let's put them in one more time. I've never done this before. So exciting. I think our duck friend skin is tight. Now we're going to set him back on the towel and let him cool just because I don't have a, really have a rack for this. We'll let it cool here. And now we're going to make this special sauce. So I'm going to introduce you to a couple ingredients. This, you can see this here, this is maltose. This is sugar syrup made from malt. And this, you think thin, honey is thick? You can see this, look at this. Can you even see it in there? It looks like it's empty, doesn't it? But you can sort of see the shimmer. This stuff is thick. I mean, can you hear that? It is thick, thick, thick. And we need, Look at this, 200 grams of this, which is about two sevenths of this, based on the fact that it's a 700 gram. Look at this, you can even hang it. Wah. This stuff is amazing. This is a sugar that's used in um, Chinese cooking, and I've never used it before, so we're gonna give it a try. I got this at the Asian store. I suppose you can get it at the Asian store or online. Um, that looks about about 150 grams. And what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to melt this stuff down. I'm going to add a little water. Because they told me to. Alright, let's get a little more of this out. This is what's going to make that shiny, glossy, Pekingy, ducky, Oh man, this stuff, I wonder if it comes on a granulated form. It'd be so much easier. See, look at this. And off the spoon. Okay, we're also going to add dark soy sauce. And vinegar. This smells really good. All right, you guys, I think we have everything melted here. And uh, I have to tell you, this smells amazing. The difference between the vinegar, the soy, and the sugar, it's like a really sweet, savory kind of dealio. Okay, I'm gonna turn the heat off. And my understanding is we're supposed to then just baste the duck with this sauce and get a nice glaze on it. So I'm just pouring it over. Let's try the other side. And you're supposed to do it a couple times till it gets a lacquered look to it. So this is our first basting. It's hard to see, isn't it? Okay, let's put it down here. 
Okay, so now you can see, you can see what the duck looks like. It's got its first basting, and now I'm just gonna go hang it to dry for about 10 minutes, and we're gonna repeat the process. Okay, and if you know my kitchen, you can laugh now. I got a hanging duck, hanging in the corner, hanging on the cabinet. And this is the first drying process. I'm gonna set up a fan, because that's what it says to do. I'm gonna baste it four more times and try to get a nice shiny look on it. Try to get the sugar, uh, the maltose, to stick. So there you go. Okay, laugh if you will. We've got our fan going here. We've got our duck going here. Um, this is what I'm being told, and this is what the videos I, all, I saw online, they all said you gotta have a fan on your duck. You gotta have somebody drying it. So we're gonna lacquer it a couple more times, and I think I came up with a better technique. So let me see if I can focus this in and show you. So I have our, our stuff that was in the pan, and I have a brush. And so my attempt is going to be to, ah, yes, this is much better. I think you all understand how this is gonna go so I'm gonna do that three more times and then we'll cut to the next step because it's really boring to watch me paint brown liquid on a duck instead of watching me lacquer the duck how about we do some onions instead And I think you get the picture. Voila, onion. Okay, you guys, it has been six hours, and I wanted to show you what the duck looked like as it was hanging. So you can still, it's still here. Had the fan on it, it's dry. The shiny that you see is the maltose. So in the bowl below it, it's sort of dripped out. And there's the duck. So I'm hoping by this point, which has been about seven hours since we started this project, you guys are not losing faith in yourself. You can do this. It's not hard, it's just steps. Just do the steps, one by one. And you'll be rewarded. I guarantee this is gonna happen. All right, so let's see how to put the duck on a rack, and then we're gonna put it in the oven. Mmm, mmm, I'm looking forward. Okay, you guys, I have our baking dish here, and I have a piece of aluminum foil, and I'm just putting the aluminum foil in the baking dish. Now, this is an attempt for me to have an easier cleanup. So I'm just putting the aluminum foil in here. And then almost all the recipes said to put some water in the bottom of this for the drippings. So I'm doing that. Put some tap water in the bottom. Quarter inch, maybe a little bit more. A little bit more water. Okay, and then I have a really set, easy setup here. I'm just taking a baking and I'm putting it on there. That's it. Now it's not completely stable, but it's good enough. And here's our duck. Okay, so we're gonna flip this three times, so let me think about which way we need to put this. So this is the back, so if we start on the front, back, front. So we wanna start it on the back, so let's flip her over. This is the breast, it's the media section, and we wanna end up here. So we're gonna start, and then we're gonna flip in 30 minutes, and then we're gonna flip in 30 minutes. And so, here we go. Okay, so our duck looks pretty good. You guys can see that? Yes, you can. So I'm gonna put this in the oven at 375, and then we're gonna rotate it in a half an hour. All right, there's our duck in the oven, and it's going in at 375. This is what your duck is gonna look like after 30 minutes in the oven, and I'm gonna flip it over and put it back in. Just wanted to give you a little, little peek. Oh my God, I guess you guys can smell it. I have to laugh, because it smells so Chinese. Okay, here's our lovely duck. It is fully cooked, I believe, but I have our temperature probe here. Turn it on. We're gonna give it a little, little look-see here. And let me change it to the right meat. 
and it needs to be to 180. We are now at one. Where is it here? 90. Oh, it's a little over. It's all right. I think we're good. 199. So our duck is definitely cooked. So we're gonna let it rest for about 10 or 15 minutes and let all the juices reabsorb, and then we'll do some carving action. I'll give you a little tour here. Little duck. Little duck action. That's the tail. That's the neck. There's the whole thing. Okay, everybody, our duck is done. It's on the cutting board, and now we're going to wing it. Yes, pun intended. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am not proficient at doing it the Chinese way. So I'm going to kind of carve it like a chicken, but I know that they do the breast diagonally. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take out these skewers. So I'm just going to slice through here and take out the skewers. Skewer one. And we have another skewer over here. What's so crispy? Pieces are falling off. Oh, I know what that is. That spice is falling out the bottom. So let's take off the other skewer here. We'll just cut this. Take this up. It's a little crispy. Now, from what I understand, the whole point of this process is to get the crispy skin. So I'm going to cut the leg off. Whoops. Well, okay. I'm going to pull the bone out since it's a little overdone. Put that over there. Try to cut this one a little more. Oh, not doing the same thing. Okay, so you can see it's done. It's just pulling off. Then I'm going to cut the tail off and put that aside. Sorry, those were the wings. Those were not the legs. These are the legs. So now I'm going to cut the legs. Cut through the knuckle. Crispy skin. And then we're going to cut through the other one. Ooh, it's juicy. And it's hot. Do it French style with a towel in hand. Trying to get through the meat knuckle. Okay. Perfect. So now, my understanding is you're supposed to try to take the skin. And cut it off first, and set it aside, and I'm telling you it is hot. So I cut down the sides, and try to take off the crispy skin. Crispy skin. Because that's supposed to be one of the delicacies of the, the process. So that's the back. Ouch, hot. And this is the front. And now we get a tongue. Okay, so my understanding is you're supposed to take, and you're supposed to slice it diagonally, and then you're supposed to get these little pieces. And these little pieces, as you can see, you see that? Yeah, you can see that. The meat is what we'll put in the wrappers. So we'll set that aside, and make a stack of meat. So what I'm going to do, a whole bunch of slices. Like this. I watched like 27 videos to figure out how to do this. Like this. Okay, then you're supposed to slice across. You get these lovely chunks of meat. Like this. There we go. Three slices. Cut across again. There go. Oh, there's a perfect slice. Perfect slice. Slice. I think this is something that just needs practice. And let's try one more. Okay, so supposedly that's the Chinese way to do it. To me, that seems like it keeps a lot of meat on there. So I'm going to try doing it my way, which is to cut the entire breast down the middle and off the bird completely. There we go. Big chunk. And then what I would do is I would set the breast down. I would look how much more meat I got. Okay. Then I would slice this nice and thin. And the tasty choice is supposed to be the excitement. Let me get a big one. There we go. Right through. Thin slices. That's nicer. And into our thing. Okay, I think you guys get the idea. The idea also is to take the skin, which is the crispy part, and you're supposed to cut it into thin slices and serve it with, like so. Okay, set this aside. Okay, I've got two tortillas here. Now, traditionally, you would put these you see them? There they are. In the steamer, on the wok steamer. I don't have that, so I'm going to pop them in the microwave for just a second. Okay, so this is how you're supposed to assemble these. So we have our tortillas that are warmed. 
We have hoisin sauce here, and then we're supposed to put hoisin sauce on that, so we'll open that, which is like a dark, thick sauce. My understanding is supposed to have like a little bit of this. Well, my understanding. I've seen it done back and forth like this. We'll just say we're doing two at a time here. Now we've got some chopsticks, so now we're official. So then we're supposed to take some of the, the duck, like so, place it in here. And then you're supposed to take a slice of the crispy skin. So we'll divide it here. One slice of crispy skin in each one. And then you're supposed to put a couple scallions. Make it look like a taco. All right. So here we have. Our chicken Peking, how do I keep saying chicken? Our Peking duck. Let's give it a little roll as it's supposed to be. It should look like that. All right, you guys, we got our duck here. Poison sauce, juicy duck, a little bit of onions. Gonna give it a taste for you. <laughs> it really tastes like Peking duck. Mmm. It is good. I was afraid that the meat by a little bit might be a little bit overdone. Totally not. There's enough fat on the duck that it totally protected the meat, and um, it's really delicious. Let's give it another bite from the other end. Mmm. The skin could be a little bit crispy, er, but I am not going to complain. And I think let me finish. I think my friends tonight will really enjoy this. I hope you guys give this a try. Peking duck. Shoo! Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a long road to get to the end of this Peking duck, but I think it is definitely going to be worth it. My friends are going to be over tonight, and they're going to enjoy it. And um, what else to say about it? Hope you guys are enjoying. Please subscribe if you haven't before. Uh, like the video. That always helps me out down there. If you'd like, you can also check out my Amazon store and my Etsy store down below and a bunch more cooking videos. If you guys have a suggestion of something that you would like to see, I'm all ears. I also have a contest going right now, so if you make some comments, I'll put your name on a ticket, put it in the bucket, and at the end of each week, doing some drawing for some great prizes right now. Just trying to get you guys to chat it up online a little bit. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and bye! And an airplane. Thank you.